morning everyone this is Yopke again and um, today I'm going to do a little project together with Honey, Honey Trump. A few weeks ago I approached her and asked her if she would be interested in doing a little collaboration with me. Uh, I've seen her doing a lot of uh, video hops with um, a few of my favorite artists and I really thought well I would love to do something like that as well. So, and she is in the Netherlands, the same as I, and only she is in the north, I'm in the south. Uh, so, um, yeah, she, w she loved it, and uh, we, what we d decided on is that we sent each other a couple of items on which we can choose five. We can choose five items, and with those five items uh, we can make... Uh, an art journal, mixed media, or whatever uh, we like. So, um, she sent me this, um, and I already opened it, I already watched what was in it, of course. And first, there is this uh, lovely paper uh, with the gorgeous uh, edge on it, but also this little package with beautiful washi tape on it also some uh, die cuts butterflies and some beautiful uh, flowers which she made herself there was this in it which I like very much it's a puzzle but it's blank so uh, you can uh, color paint uh, or, or uh, collage on this and make your own puzzle. Um, this little tag which is happy and this image of this vintage lady. A napkin, tropical napkin and another napkin, a dinner Royal and this beautiful piece of vintage paper with Dutch writing on it. Asia, it says, Algemeen Overzicht. And a piece of a jelly print, I think, which has lovely bright colors on them so and now I need to pick five and I'm not sure what that will be yet um, for sure I'm going to use this piece of paper oh and first let me tell you that I'm going to work in this original book I also got from honey in happy mail a while ago already made one page in this so I'm thinking to do this page for uh, this collaboration. Um, for sure I'm going to use this vintage paper and I kind of like this as well, maybe a part of it, but I'm thinking this, that's two. Um, want to use this washi tape as well with the black um, dots yes <clears throat> and maybe that so now I'm thinking uh, it would be very nice to use one or two of these or, um, and then I might four, one, two, three, four, or the one of the flowers. Hmm. So that's difficult to choose when you have such lovely products, or maybe a piece of this. Now, let me think about that, but. Um, I'm going to work in this little book. Um, I will probably take this page 
uh, out of the book and then uh, protect this side and work on that. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Starting probably with gluing down a piece of this vintage paper. So make sure to check out the description box below because I will uh, link you to Honey Tromp's uh, channel and her project in this little uh, collaboration we did um, because I sent Honey of course some items as well and she had to pick out five and she made a beautiful little piece uh, with that so make sure to check out uh, Honey's Trump's part of this collaboration. So I started with the vintage uh, paper she uh, Honey sent me and I tear out a piece and glued it down onto my page with the art medium by Schoening and then I decided on this piece of the napkin. I peeled off the two tissue layers that were underneath it uh, so uh, you can glue it down very easily. Um, napkins intend to wrinkle a bit and um, also the paper uh, wrinkle a bit but I didn't mind that at all. So here I am gluing down the, the tropical birds as well. And then for my third item, I choose the washi tape with the black dots uh, on them. Uh, I tear out a piece and um, uh, teared that in three or four pieces and took it down onto my page. So now I have worked with three items already uh, at this stage. Um, before I go any further, I go in with some heavy gesso to uh, tone down the background a bit and to blend it all in with each other. So I'm using the heavy gesso by Finabear for this and a palette knife and I'm just going over the surface uh, to create, um, uh, to let it blend in with each other. Uh, for, the, for some color I choose this teal um, homemade acrylic spray paint that I made myself with acrylic spray and um, I'm spraying it onto the uh, surface and then spraying with water to make it uh, move and run on the page. I do the same with this Distress uh, Spray Stain by uh, Ranger, I believe. Uh, also using water uh, on the edges mainly to make it uh, yeah, uh, all kind of vintage like. Uh, the Distress Spray uh, is water soluble though, the, so I have to be careful with everything I put on top of that because the Distress Stain will react to that. The acrylic spray paint that I used earlier, the teal one, uh, is uh, water uh, resistant? Do I say that correctly? You, you, uh, it is permanent when once it's dry. So um, then, and this is my fourth piece. Um, I use a, a piece of the puzzle, the blank puzzle, and I. Uh, add the washi tape with the black dots on it because I really like that washi tape. Um, uh, then I decided to color the edges of that puzzle piece but that didn't work all that well with the ink and the blending tool so it, I thought it's much easier to do that with a black uh, marker and this is the Faber-Castell a black one so that was a lot easier and I'm only using one piece of this puzzle. I thought of using two, but um, I, I decided on one. And here I am scribbling a bit with uh, acrylic paint that I put in a needle tip bottle. Uh, using up the pieces of the washi tape that I cut from the puzzle piece and I'm gluing them down, uh, sticking them down as well. 
and this little arrow sticks out of the page on the left side, which is the arrow that is on the, the page uh, underneath. And I decided to um, color that black. So because it wasn't all that beautiful on the, on the back side. Um, using the tag with the word happy on it as well and uh, coloring the edges with a black Faber Castell pit pen and here I am inking the edges with the Stazon ink, uh, the edges of the page. So now I have four, uh, actually five pieces used and I'm gluing down um, or here I'm making some splatter with uh, acrylic paint and then I'm gluing down the piece, the tag with the word happy onto the puzzle piece and that is glued down to the page. And at this point, because I have used five items, I think I'm done. So I am uh, adding my date and my signature. And uh, although I like the page very much, I I was drawn to that gorgeous flower. So yeah, I'm very sorry, sorry, honey, but I cheated a bit and used the flower as well. So I had six of your beautiful uh, uh, goodies used on this page. And uh, because this flower had some pink in it, I decided on doing a few uh, pink splatters as well to uh, for the balance of this page and uh, because it was a tropical this tropical page uh, with the with the tropical birds and I thought this flower just had to go on top of this so make sure to check out honey's project in the description box below hope you liked it have fun watching bye bye see you next time